Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how we can create this kind of curtain blowing animations in Blender easily. So hope you guys will find the tutorial useful but before going to that if you end up liking this video please click on that like button to share this content and if you are new to this channel consider subscribing my channel and support me. So further without any ado let's begin today's video. So here you can see I am using Blender 2.92 nice. Now let's select everything in this default scene by pressing A on the keyboard and delete. So here I will be using a 3D model which I have downloaded from Sketchfab. It is a window 3D model. So download link in the description if you want to use the same. So let me import that one first. So go to this file, import, it is an object file. So select this wavefront obj. So here you can see we got that file here and import obj. Nice. Let me move it here and let me place it just above to this grid. Okay. So now let's create our cloth itself. So further go to this add mesh create plane. Let me bring it here. Now press R X 90 to rotate it. Now press S to increase the scaling. So I'll make it a bit large than our window. So press 3 for side view and let me place it close to the window like this. Fine. So now press tab on the keyboard for edit mode. Right click and add subdivisions here. So these many of subdivisions are fine. Now press tab to exit edit mode. So now let's add cloth physics onto this plane. So for that select the plane. Come to this physics property and add cloth. So if I play this once again, you can see our cloth is falling down, which we don't want. So press tab to enter edit mode once again. Make sure a vertex is selected and select one vertex here. Hold alt key and select the vertex side to it to select all the vertices here. Now come to this object data properties, create a vertex group and assign them to that group. Fine. Now press tab to exit edit mode. Fine. So select this physics property once again, come to this physics property, scroll down, come to this shape options and in pin group, select the group which we have created now. So if I play this once again, you can see the plane is not falling down. Nice. So now let's add some foldings onto this curtain. So for that, come to this object data properties once again and in shape case, add two shape case. So make sure our key one is selected. Now press tab on the keyboard for edit mode. So here you can see we got this vertex selected already. So press S on the keyboard and reduce the scaling here like this. Bring them close together. Okay. Now increase the value here to one. Fine. So now press tab to exit edit mode once again. So if I play this, we can see we got that here. So let me bring it close. So if I, if it is zero, we are not getting that. If it is one, we are getting that kind of animation. Nice. So now let me move forward in timeline. So enable a keyframe for this value here. Now move 10 frames forward and let me change this value to 1. Now again add a keyframe here. So if I play this once again, we can see we got foldings here. So let me make it shade smooth. Fine. Now select this model and add collision property so let me play this once again okay so i think we need to increase some subdivision so select that cloth tab press a to select everything right click and subdivide okay so let me play this once again so if i play this once again now it's looking better nice okay fine so now let's make this curtain react to wind so for that go to this add force field add wind now let me place this back press s to increase the scaling and let me rotate it here towards the curtain okay fine so now move forward in timeline like 80 frames okay at 80th frame let's add keyframe for the strength okay now move 10 frames forward and let me increase the strength value to 250 okay now again add a keyframe so if I play this once again, let's see what will happen. So here the cloth is shrinking and the strength of the wind is increased. So here you can see our curtain is reacting to this wind now. So now let's add some turbulence. So again, go to this add force field add turbulence. So here I will increase the turbulence value. So again, come to this 80th frame, add a keyframe for turbulence. Make sure the strength is one. Now again, 10 frames forward. So increase the strength or turbulence to 1000 and enable a keyframe.
so here you can see we got some turbulence here but the cloth is passing through itself so let's fix that so select the cloth come to this physics property scroll down to this collisions scroll down and enable self collision so now let's play this once again so now you can see it is looking better nice so now let's move back to this render viewport right now the scene is looking dark because there is no light in the scene so come to this wall properties add an environment texture here i will be using an hdr image to light up the scene so let me select an hdri so here we got this hdri so come to this render property scroll down to the film and make it transparent okay so now let's select this cloth come to this material properties add new material okay now come to this shading port click on that now select this principal shader and press ctrl plus t for node wrangler if you are not enable node wrangler go to this edit preferences click on this add on and search for node so we will get this node wrangler enable it and save those preferences and we can close that okay so now here we can select any texture so let me select a texture for this curtain so here you can see i have selected this texture so i will reduce the specular okay roughness i will increase this roughness nice it will be fine now let me move back to this layout okay now come to this render settings enable ambient occlusion let me increase the distance to 2.5 or else let me increase this to 3 okay so enable this screen space reflections and refractions okay so now let's play this once again so in this way we can create this curtain blowing animations in blender easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye